Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. Today I want to talk to you about lessons that I learned from living out of my comfort zone for 30 days while living in France with only a ticket to and a ticket from and no reservations in between. So we all have dreams and bucket lists that we would like to accomplish in our lifetime. And many of us are, you know, in our 60s and we've likely completed many of them. Yet there are still many um, that are, you know, very important to us um, that we've relegated to our someday list. <clears throat> and so why do we continue to push those important dreams for our to-do list? Shouldn't they be at the top? So after all, as baby boomers and um, people in our third act, isn't it time to finally make room for us and for what matters most to us? So last November, as I was writing my book, Downsize Your Life, Upgrade Your Lifestyle, Secrets to More Time, Money, and Freedom, I was stopped dead in my tracks as I posed this question. What's preventing um, me from having the kind of dream life that I really want right now? Those words shook to my core at the same time created a new sense of urgency. For years, my number one bucket list had been to immerse myself in the countryside of southern France for at least 30 days. I wanted to live like a local, experience their, their lifestyle, their culture, and yes, their food, as, as if I were one of them. And while I was there, I also wanted to test our new lifestyle design business model, work three days and play four, which balances having a great business and a great life. I suddenly realized that I had not given myself permission to live my big dream fully and live that life I most wanted. I began to wonder, what if? <clears throat> I took that 30-day um, trip to the south of France, and I wanted to share some of the lessons that I learned by living out of my comfort zone. Number one is having no plan was the best plan for me anyway. If I was going to experience the French countryside, the culture, the people, the way I truly wanted to live, I decided the best way has no plan that would prevent me from the freedom, flexibility, and the spontaneity that I wanted. So I only had a ticket to and a ticket from, a hotel reservation for my first night and a small carry-on suitcase. Traveling with no itinerary was frightening, but provided the freedom that I never experienced before. The most interesting result of traveling without a plan is that it invited a whole new spirit of adventure um, that made me feel fully alive, 20 years younger, and authentically connected to the woman that I really wanted to be. <clears throat> so the number two thing that I learned was expect the unexpected because stuff does happen. The bed and breakfast that I accidentally booked in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> the hotel reservation that didn't exist because I forgot to push send, or the bus that never arrived, leaving me stranded 50 kilometers from anywhere. These are just a few of the oops moments that actually became part of the fun. Figuring it out became a finely honed skill set. Getting lost and having no internet access or taxi service simply provided many, many opportunities to grow, learn, and definitely laugh at myself. The third thing I learned was embrace life on those skinny branches. As a lifetime entrepreneur, I've taken many risks and thought I had become accustomed to living out of my comfort zone. However, as a baby boomer woman who is directionally and technically challenged, traveling to a country where everything was new clearly tested my ability to figure things out. The, biggest, the bigger the challenge, the more resilient I became. <clears throat> Number four is yes, you will get lonely sometimes. I decided to travel solo and because I've traveled alone many times before, I fully expected that I would occasionally get lonely and I did. But I also discovered a few powerful ways um, to deal with that. Number one was to acknowledge those feelings, write them down, pray, talk, journal, and talk to loved ones back home. And then push yourself to get out and engage with people. I found the village squares were my favorite go-to places to meet friends and socialize with locals. And then take selfies, videos, and record experiences in that journal. <clears throat> it's important to capture those moments so that you can recall memories and share them later on. It takes courage to travel alone 
And while it has its downfalls, it certainly has many benefits too. You get to do what you want, when you want, where you want, and you get to do it your way. <clears throat> the other thing that I learned is seeing more of less. Could I have seen the country in 30 days? Probably. But my dream was to immerse myself in the French countryside so I could have a deeper experience, slow down, savor more, focus on what interested me most, take time to notice the little things, and do it in my own time and on my own terms. The next thing I learned was attitude or mindset can make or break your journey. To say this trip was easy would be a lie. I had to accept delays, develop patience, embrace challenges, and face my fears many times. I could have let several mo moments ruin my trip, <clears throat> but I chose that <clears throat> to have fun and laugh every day, laugh at myself, my missteps, and not knowing. So I was turning my fear into curiosity and my curiosity into fun. I learned to accept help from others just because I could do it didn't mean that I had to. Having an open mind, letting go of those preconceived ideas and judgments. <clears throat> and the next thing I learned, the significance of immersal, immersive um, or experiential travel. Everyone and everything is a teacher. It's an opportunity to listen, to learn, to connect, and honor things that are different from what we already know. Being friendly and curious with locals allowed me to develop new friendships, which I'm still nurturing today. <clears throat> and this immersive travel experience created valuable conversations and insights that enriched my worldview to understand new points of view and new ways of living. <clears throat> the priceless experiences, the rich conversations, the lifelong friends. <clears throat> it was a newfound awareness and a respect for our similarities as well as our differences. And it was a broader understanding connection to the world around me. And the last was to seize the opportunities to see yourself through a new lens. Several years ago, when I downsized from a very large home to my tiny jewel box apartment, in Center City, Philadelphia, I discovered the real me who had been hiding under all of my stuff. Similarly, when I immersed myself in the south of France for 30 days, I discovered a new me that had been waiting to be found. I discovered the bold, fearless adventurer who thrives on change, challenge, and connection. I discovered that it is possible to have a great lifestyle and a great business working from anywhere in the world. And I discovered saying yes to my dreams is one of the best decisions I ever made. Embrace that vacation mindset every day for the rest of your life. So when you're on vacation, you know, we're, we're very relaxed, we're free, we're curious, we're open to new ideas, people and places. I discovered that we don't need to be on vacation every day to have a, a vacation mindset. We simply need to open our ideas, our, ide I'm sorry, our eyes to adventures and opportunities that are right in front of us so that we can be fully alive every single day. Live expectantly, daring ourselves to try new things is all part of what makes life worthwhile. There's no need to wait for your next vacation. Live right now. So it is possible to design and live the life you love. At this stage of our lives, we have already accomplished so much that we're proud of, and yet we might still find ourselves asking, what can I do to be more, be more? <clears throat> so my 30 day journey provided me with the much needed time to discern what matters most to me and where I can make the biggest act, impact in my third act. It's never too late to reimagine, reinvent our lives. So as a baby boomer woman right now, in, in our third act. It's our time to follow those dreams, to check off those bucket list items before it's too late. It's important to see through those invisible barriers, both real and imagined, that prevent us from living the life we most want. So whether your dream is to travel to distant locations, start a new business, or move closer to your grandchildren, give yourself permission to say yes to life, the life that you want. Get comfortable with stepping out of your comfort zone and connect with the inner you that is desperately waiting to be found.